You two stand by here. But Captain, just report what I said to Lord Donzo. Within the clan, only those who possess the Sharingan can read this stone tablet. And even then, only part of it. But with your Mangekyo Sharingan, you should be able to read it even more completely. You want me to tell you what it says? That's not necessary. Oh! You have a Mangekyo as well? It happened during Yo. the third great ninja war. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to Narrow War with- Hey y'all, welcome back to Nairborn Archer Shipping. I'm your host, George, and my co host here, Alan, Jason, and today we're seeing our series Nairborn Archer Shipping. We've all seen Naruto, but these boys haven't seen Shippuden, so you're gonna get their gender reaction. I'm just here because I love this show overall. Guys, last time we were shipping, we are still in the past, but we're taking a deep dive into Itachi and his backstory. And last, we had a great look into his childhood. Very traumatic, had some lighthearted moments, but oh boy, Itachi was suffering too. But now guys, we flash forward into somewhat of the Itachi's recent present. We ended off with Itachi just one of the Anvil Black Ops. We're gonna keep going in, into this backstory once again. So guys, without further ado, here's our reaction. Our shipping episodes 455 through 458. <laughs> but there's one thing you must never forget that even more than being a leaf Anbu, you're first and foremost an Uchiha. You're the only one I can count on, my best friend. Oh, yeah, the read. Ugh. Protect the village and the Uchiha name. <laughs> if I die, many things will change. I've left a note. She's sweet. Wait! Don't try to stop me, Itachi. If you're truly my friend. Shisui! Oh, wait, yo. What? Wait, the only thing about Shisui or Shiha, he killed himself in Nakano River. Why don't you just come out and say it? You believe I had a hand in this, don't you? Yeah, that's right. No talk. If I find you betrayed this clan, I want you to know. You'll pay for your wrongs! <laughs> the clan, the clan, the clan. You overestimate your own abilities with no idea of the depth of my own. Just look at you now, groveling in the dirt. Stop it, Itachi! <laughs> what on earth is the matter with you? Oh, boy. I've had enough of all this. There's no hope so left that's for this it. pathetic clan. Big brother! Shut up, Sasuke. Watch carefully with your eyes, Sasuke. Observe how shallow this clan is. Oh, I, knew it. I knew he was gonna do that. Beginning today, you will become a squad leader in the Anbu. But your mission orders will come from me. There's no need to report anything to Harrison and his staff. Yes, sir. Anyway, I know it's sudden, but I have a mission for you. It's a simple assassination. The two behind you will assist you. We'll be your subordinates from here on. We're honored to be of service. <laughs> Damn. Good work. Now, while you are away, the surveillance team on Uchiha has reported that the Leaf Police Force has been strengthening their armaments. What do you think is the significance of that? Resentment toward the village has been increasing among the Uchiha. So, this is something we can't ignore. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, he got. <laughs> Still thinking about her, damn. Shut I was up. just about to go and train. Come with me? I'm exhausted from my mission. Come on, you never get tired, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sasuke. Some other time.
You know about the clan meeting in three days, don't you, Itachi? I don't. Once it concludes, meet me at the Nakano Shrine alone. No Anbu subordinates. I'm leaving tomorrow, on a mission outside the village. Don't run away. Run away? From what, exactly? From your destiny as an Uchiha. Do you understand? I'll be waiting. Mm. What's his mom? You two stand by here. But Captain, just report what I said to Lord Donzo. Within the clan, only those who possess the Sharingan can read this stone tablet. And even then, only part of it. But with your Mangekio Sharingan, you should be able to read it even more completely. You want me to tell you what it says? That's not necessary. Oh, you have a monkey kill as well. The? It happened during Yo. the third great ninja war, when my friend gave up his life in order to save me. The Uchiha's path to salvation is carved into this stone. Ugh. But even with the Mongekio Sharingan, the end cannot be deciphered. It seems we still have a ways to go. Even if it's only part of it, once you read it, you'll understand. The current situation forced upon the Uchiha is wrong. But even so, to use force to overcome that situation is completely- The higher-ups of the village are frightened of us. Ooh. That is why they persecute us. Out of fear of our Sharingan. They're afraid we'll control the Ninetales with the power of the Sharingan. That's just a legend about Madara Uchiha. Ooh. Since then, no <laughs> one's done anything like that. We don't even know if anyone can. But the higher-ups <laughs> cling to the ghosts of the past and keep us at a distance out of fear. Thus, there's nothing else left for us to do except control them. Do you plan to use force to become the Hokage? It's only because the clan wishes it. But I want to avoid the use of brute force. That's why I kept my Mangekio Sharingan a secret. Why? I can control the Ninetales with my Mangekio Sharingan. If the clan learned of it, they'd want even more. Watch! We've brought the Jinchuri in. Let's do it. The captain can do it. Please, Captain, you have to. Captain Fubuku, please. Use the power of the Uchiha. Oh my god. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Many in the clan resent the village. When someone's pushed into a corner, they resort to such things. There will be much bloodshed on both sides. If you are with me, right at my side. We can take them by surprise and restrain the higher-ups. Some fighting will ensue, that's unavoidable. But with your help as a member of the Anbu, we can orchestrate a bloodless revolution. A bloodless revolution? Itachi, you're my son. Please. Help me to save our clan. <clears throat> Captain, your orders. The Uchiha clan is set on turning against the leaf. We are in a race against time here. We ought to strike them preemptively before they can make their first move. The Uchiha are comrades in arms. I would like to use words first before employing any violence, so I will come up with a strategy. You must choose. Align with the Uchiha and launch the coup d'etat and be slaughtered along with your family. Or side with the Leaf and before they attempt the coup, eliminate every Uchiha except your younger brother. Eliminate the Uchiha? To protect the Leaf, every possible step must be taken to avoid mayhem. The only one that can handle this mission is you, a double agent for both the Uchiha and the Leaf. So will you accept this mission or not?
Hey. Oh. There is something that I would like you to help me with. Damn. Wait. <laughs> beyond this slaughter. Will you show me a new future for the clan? This is... Oh! It's like a ghost. Bro. Oh. Such fine eyes. Oh my god. No, no way. Oh! Yo! Here my... Sorry. Damn, bro. This is what I see for the clan's future. And for the villages. Yes, I see. A shadow clone. Father is the worst possible enemy for me. This will be a battle of Mongekyo Sharingan. Traps. Come in. Father. I don't want a death match with my own son. God. I see. So you've aligned with the other side. Father. Mother. I just. We already know. Itachi. Itachi, just promise me this. That you'll take care of Sasuke. I will. Do not fear it. This is the path you have chosen. Compared to yours, our pain will be over in an instant. Our philosophies may differ, but I'm still proud of you. You are truly a kind <laughs> child. Averted civil war within the leaf. We've maintained peace despite all odds. Yes. But even so, I sincerely regret that there was no other way to achieve it. I apologize, Lord Third. I'm the one who should apologize. You will be branded as a rogue ninja who killed his whole clan and be listed in the bingo book as a fugitive, wanted dead or alive. Of course. What will you do now? I've found aid from a group named Akatsuki. I intend to stay close to them in order to make sure a promise is not broken. What do you want now? Well, you've become a rogue ninja listed in the bingo book, Captain. Oh, the the is. No less. As Foundation members, we want to make it seem like we tried to stop you. Please go easy on us. Your swordplay suggests more than just trying. Your shouting gun won't work against us. Oh. We won't look into your eyes. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, no way. Oh. Genjutsu. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Back when you first reported to me to become my subordinates. We'll be your subordinates from here on. <laughs> I embedded a suggestion in case you turned on me. You just trusted us right from the very beginning. I was acting as a double agent. 
I see through the eyes of both the Leaf and the Uchiha. But to be honest, I don't know whose spy I really was. Damn. Within the organization I'm known as Tobi, I'm not an official member. I'm a newbie within the Akatsuki who doesn't possess any spectacular jutsu. You should treat me as if that's true. If people knew Madara Uchiha was still alive, things would become complicated. Only the Akatsuki leader who we're meeting knows the truth. Their hideout's just up ahead. Oh shit. If it isn't Itachi, it's a bit <laughs> more. Orochimaru. Oh, that's right. You're from the same hometown. So is this going to be a touching reunion? I always knew you were a shinobi like the rest of us. Like the rest of us? Those who consider bonds like the village, the clan, and comrades to be nothing but a burden. The goal of the Akatsuki is a world of peace oh. among shinobi. Hmm. Instead of the five great nations, the Akatsuki shall rule over the world. That's quite a lofty goal. And that's why we're assembling skilled shinobi without asking about their history. Itachi of the Leaf, we welcome you into the Akatsuki. To heavy From here on, reject the Leaf. Starting now, you are Itachi of the Akatsuki. Damn. Show the world pain. Now that's a squall. Juzo. Uh, <laughs> you will form a two man team with Itachi. <laughs> Follow me, newbie. All right. <laughs> Do you know a shinobi called Mike Die? Oh? I know a Mike Guy. Oh? Ah, uh, well, he's the brat from that day. I was one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist back then. The seven <laughs> swordsmen ended up being cut down to only three. Damn. Who would have thought that scuzzy bearded jerk would be able to use a taijutsu like that? <laughs> anyway, look, I want to make something completely clear, all right? I really couldn't care less about the reasons why you joined the Akatsuki. I don't even want to hear your reasons. It doesn't matter why I joined either, and I don't want you to ask me. Hey, are you even listening to me right now? Ugh. Pay attention, because there's something important that I need to ask you. It's about your ninjutsu specialties. As you can probably tell, I use this executioner's blade to attack and cut up enemies. Mm, so sorry. how about you? Genjutsu, fire style, and shurikenjutsu. Former Leaf Anbu Itachi Uchiha, Itachi of the Sharingan, Clan Killer Itachi. People sure throw around a lot of nicknames for you. <laughs> hey, let's decide on our formations. You can just start out with a preemptive attack with your Genjutsu Shuriken or whatever your specialty is exactly. Then I'll jump into the fray, and at that point you'll become my backup. We can call that Formation B. What's A? We each do whatever we want. <laughs> Understood. But first, one word of warning. You can't take any opponent for granted, got it? Understood. <laughs> Who are you? Get out of the way. Shinobi villages always talk a good game about peace and order. But they're really just worried about their roles getting smaller. Behind the scenes, they're trying to reduce their opponent's power, while also trying to increase their own. That's why the Akatsuki gets jobs. The more peaceful the world is, the more work we get. Hmm. We accept any request we receive, and we don't care about the details at all. Are you scoundrels? Fire style, fireball jutsu! Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh. We don't need to know who's inside this thing. And we don't want to know. 
Yo. Damn, they're mercenaries, bro, for real. <laughs> God. What's also nice is that you don't have to waste any thought on who the hell would pay us to do dirty work like this. That's what the Akatsuki's about. Our leader Payne had said that the plan was for the Akatsuki to rule the world. Yeah, well that won't be for a long time. First we need to amass money and power. Speak of the devil, he's summoning us. It's a team's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I need you guys to show your cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, please join the team meeting, please. Have you gotten used to the Akatsuki, Itachi? <laughs> How would you feel about changing partners and teaming up with me instead? <laughs> hey! We just started getting our formations down. <laughs> Don't try to steal them from me already. There's something called compatibility, you know. <laughs> I wish our leader would put a bit more thought into this. You're one to talk, you damn snake. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zetsu. Zets. Thanks to all your efforts, the Akatsuki's reputation is growing in the underworld. We're getting bigger jobs, which means higher compensation as well. The Akatsuki's ready to move to the next level. The tailed beasts. There's nine of them, right? Those tailed beasts? The five great nations harbor most of them. But the whereabouts of a few still remain unknown. Those currently without jobs will search for them. And what's the end goal? Hunt down and collect each of them. And then? There'll be deterrence in our quest for world domination. But tailed beasts. Seems to me there are a lot of other ways. Our leader's reasoning is quite sound about this. Here are your assignments. Juzo, you'll handle the request from the Land of Water. <sighs> Isn't there something else I can do? You're familiar with the territory. Yes. I gave the coffee run. <laughs> <laughs> this is just ridiculous. That place is so depressing. I never wanted to go back there again. <laughs> Isn't that where you're from? We have to assassinate a member of the Feudal Lord's clan in the Land of Water. Whoa. Whoa. The story is that there's an inter-clan fight over succession, which is ridiculously common in the Land of Water. The Hidden Mist can't interfere in the affairs of the Feudal Lord's clan, and that's why they've come to the Akatsuki for help. <laughs> Ooh, background behind the scenes manipulation. Eh? This river's the border. You ever been to the Land of Water before? Never on a mission. Family vacation. Hmm. You've got no sense of humor, you know that? Hmm. Although, you do know what'll happen to a shinobi from another village if he's found in the land of water, right? The hidden mist doesn't keep any prisoners. Shinobi that are captured are killed after being forced to divulge their jutsu. The hidden leaf is naive. So you and Orochimaru can traipse around as rogue ninja. But in the Hidden Mist, there's a special unit that tracks down Rogue Ninja. So if I was ever to get caught in this village... Oh yeah, guess I forgot about Formation C. If the Hidden Mist manages to get me, then you'll have to kill me immediately. Oh. If I have the chance. What do you want me to do for Formation D? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in particular. Fine, let's go. I'm average. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, why don't you show me? <laughs> Please, spare me! Look, I don't hold a grudge against you. This is just a job I have to do. No! <laughs> Damn. Hey, yeah. Hidden Mist Jutsu. Ooh, nice. style, Supreme Typhoon! Huh. Wait, this is me. This might die. Oh! Dude, Wait. that's the Three Tails and Shuriki, also the oh. Mizukage. It's the Mizukage. Oh my god. I remember the warning I gave you. <laughs> I was just a kid. 
They're the Mist's Shinobi tracking unit. Well, Juzo, I never expected you to show your face in the village again, but here we are. I didn't want to come back either, but I had no choice. There's a lot of things I'd like to say to you now. At the very least, I'm going to take back the Executioner's Blade. Even if your partner now is Itachi of the Sharingan. Damn, not him too. Damn. I guess a surprise attack with your Genjutsu would be pointless. What's the plan? I think we're gonna have to use Formation C. Formation C, huh? Oh no. Understood. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, oh okay. the fake out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You two, I'll show no mercy. Damn. <laughs> Tail beast. Fourth is a Jinchuriki who could control the tailed beast inside him. This isn't the hidden leaf. Tail. Oh my god. It's the fourth call palm jutsu. Oh boy. No, you don't. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh my goodness! I mean, bro, I'm trying to hit it like a baseball bat. Yeah, it looks like the attempt, but yeah. Oh! Shit, bro. What is this? Oh! The power of the Monkey Kill Shining God. Oh. Damn. 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 Juzo. Did you kill the Mizukage? No. It seems he's still alive. Well then, hurry, go. But you're. Come on, it's all over for me. You don't have to be a medic ninja to figure that out. I'm sorry. <sighs> Useless. Do you have any last words for me to tell anyone? You're an idiot. <laughs> Do you really think that I'd have anyone? Oh, I get it. You have someone like that, huh? Hurry up and go. I'm just gonna drop dead right here where I come from. The godforsaken blood mist village. Damn. I thought... My only partner was this guy here, but no. Damn. Damn, he gives it back to him. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Imagine the report back. <laughs> Next team's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're available. Uh, Juzo won't be available. <laughs> Is he on PTO? Permanent time. <laughs> oh my. And he was your teammate, Itachi. The Three Tails Jinchuriki killed him. Which means you took on the Misukage and managed to come out of it alive. Rather than being killed by an enemy, he was killed by friendly fire. He was merely too slow. Let everyone else be the judge of that. Oh, well, the other guy? Fire sound. Searing my brain. Oh my god. He cooked his homie. It was done in bad faith. <laughs> or on purpose. He should have just dodged it. <laughs> you ignored your partner, didn't you? So what? <laughs> you wanted to kill him, didn't you? What's your point? Yeah, Hirochimaru's Nothing. cooking you. It just seems to happen a lot. What now, Kakuzu? You team up with Itachi, who's also lost his partner. Sure, as long as he doesn't irritate me. I wouldn't know how to cater to your moods. The hell did you say? <laughs> then let's team up and I'll show you. Wait, I'll team up with Itachi. Oh, <laughs> he really wanted to team up with him. Yeah. make a fool out of me. Yukatsu needs to 
five new members. We'll put this issue on hold until that time. <laughs> so he's like, man, no one want to be with me? The fuck? Approach you, Mars. Like, please, can I, can I join you? Please, please pick me. I wanted the body. I desire your friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Is he in a dappable distance? <laughs> nah, he's about to bite him, bro. Where'd that curse mark at? It's coming. <laughs> See? Told you. <laughs> this is the shadow snake. Are you aware of what eternal life is, Itachi? I told you. I don't know what it is yet either. And that's exactly why I need a new body. A glorious body to link me to eternal life. The problem with you is your greed. <laughs> Impossible! <laughs> Am I really under a paralysis, Genjutsu? What incredible visual prowess. Magnificent. Oh! Oh! Orochimaru, try all the jutsu you wish, but my eyes can see through all of them. You don't have to be so blunt. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with you. Whether to kill you right now or find a way to use you. Damn. Itachi's just hold on! But really, you don't have enough. No. Unfortunately, you possess far too much greed you think human life is tomorrow oh Do not doubt that I'll repay you for this <laughs> damn damn the number one dick rider came to say <laughs> laser tomorrow betrayed and deserted our organization I knew it that bastard he always put himself before the organization. I don't intend to let Orochimaru get away with this, but we're short on members. Hey, hey, hey! How about letting me join? Get lost! <laughs> okay. Oh, you can man. just leave Orochimaru to me. His subordinate, Kabuto, is my puppet. I'll find out where he's hiding in no time. I have someone in mind to be your partner. We can wait until he joins us. What about me? Do I team up with Itachi? Work alone for a little longer. <laughs> There's someone else I want to partner up with Itachi. Oh? Oh, oh Shark Fin! <laughs> Shark Fin Hoo -ha, I remember this game. Uh, the, the original Tail Beast. The oh. Tail is Tail Beast, they call him. Kisame! I'll be teaming up with you starting today. Shark fin hoo ha ha. Yeah, all these hidden mist homies are not. <laughs> oh, okay. Over there. To be a Katsuki? Oh. No, no, I don't care. Now get lost. You're keeping me from my art appreciation time. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to take this brat on as my partner. Sister. <laughs> sure, he's full of energy, but he seems like the early. I remember death this. Type. Yeah. It's our leader's orders. Puts him under a Genjutsu. Very useful. Who are you? Talk. We know you're aiding anti-government factions with terrorist bombings. Damn. And we are also aware that you're a rogue ninja. So what exactly is your purpose? Purpose? I don't need a purpose. I take commissions to make explosions using my art. Hm. Disgusting. <laughs> is he finished? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I'll handle this. Bro, <laughs> it's like yeah. so instant. <laughs> it's like, nah, I got folded. We're just gonna. <laughs> to be clear, I'm still not going to stop in the pursuit of my art. As you please. But you're part of the Akatsuki. You will fulfill your missions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. I understand. But you! Don't ever try to catch me in a Genjutsu again! <laughs> you're one of us now. 
I doubt that I'll have to use it on you. Oh, wait till you fight his brother, well, buddy. Good. But just remember, <laughs> I wouldn't mind giving you a taste of my art. Leave it at that. Sorcery. <clears throat> Partner with Datara and go kill Orochimaru. <laughs> About time. Hold on. Who's this Orochimaru? I'll tell you on the way. We believe that Orochimaru has escaped into the land of wind. But beyond that, we don't really know anything. That's all I need to know. Let's go. Hmm. Itachi and Kisame, the hidden grass village. What about my partner? Wait a bit longer. <laughs> Don't worry, your buddy. I've ordered Kabuto to keep me updated. He has several methods at his disposal. If they're headed to the land of wind, this? this is the spot. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Oh, no, sorry. Secret scroll. The great sand dune of the east. I see. That's one place the villagers won't go. Is that where you're from, my man? Never mind that. Anyway, that location works out perfectly. That's his hideout. You can leave it to my art. I'll just blow the entire thing up. We don't even know if he's there or not. It's useless. Uh, he already knows we're here. Seriously? Let's go. I was under the impression that Itachi would be the one to come, but apparently the Akatsuki has sent you to instead. We'll kill you without hesitation, traitor. You think you can? <laughs> you are the hidden stone boy, right? From the demolitions you... I'm not a kid, so don't treat me like one! <laughs> What gives, my man? You want to capture him yourself or something? Yeah, since you have no grudges against him, right? <laughs> well, if you want backup, just call on me, all right? <laughs> I have the geographical advantage. Oh, yeah. You're aware of the third Kazakage's power, aren't you? His favorite yes. puppet. My hobby is to collect things that I find interesting. So I took a little something. Oh, reanimation. What the hell? Huh? What is that? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's you, Sasori. How dare you do this to me? <laughs> what is this, you damn snake? The third Kazikage, whom you killed. I used a forbidden jutsu to resurrect him. The outcome here will be different than last time. Enough of your complaints. Oh, yeah. Your human puppet against my forbidden jutsu. Let's see which is best. Damn you. Scattered <laughs> That puppet stops working when sand hits it, doesn't it? Don't you dare lecture me about puppets! <laughs> Matter. Now it's your turn. Not yet. Damn. What? This is a form of immortality. It can't die since it's already dead. We'll just see about that. <laughs> Damn, which takes it back. <laughs> oh, God. resurrect you in the same way <laughs> <laughs> although to be honest what I really wanted was to get a hold of Itachi's body 
Does that guy have a weakness? Resurrection isn't one of the third's abilities. Oh. Geometry You're going to fight become my pawns forever. Stop kidding around. Don't forget that I am the third Kasekage. I am not your pawn. What the? <laughs> I wonder if my jutsu wasn't complete. Take this. <laughs> oh. Damn. Did that get him? <laughs> no. Homeboy slithering away. Hey, no Ooh, smart. My art. Is that explosion? Ooh. He's hmm. Damn. So we can't say for sure that we killed him. If he's still alive, I swear I'll kill him myself. What's with that ridiculous jutsu anyway? Do you know about it? It brings the dead back to life and allows one to control them like puppets. You can't kill them even if you try. You have to use a ceiling jutsu or suppress their movement through force. Or just kill Orochimaru, right? Even that won't stop a reanimation. Be wary of Orochimaru from now on. If he's alive, he's bound to make another move. It would be really out of the ordinary if he survived that explosion. <laughs> no one who joins us is ordinary. True. It sounds like we have another immortal on our hands now. The Land of Steam has requested that we eliminate a homicidal maniac that's appeared. Don't they have their own hidden steam shinobi? Apparently they can't kill him. So this maniac is immortal too? Was he also reanimated by Orochimaru? <laughs> I'm dispatching a different team this time. I wonder who this immortal maniac is. <laughs> you there. <laughs> hmm. Would you like to join the way of Jashin? <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> Y'all forgot about This wasn't for money don't... or revenge. I remember this This guy. was done out of a deep desire to kill. I believe he had some other purpose in mind. You really have a way of irritating me, you know that? <laughs> and you, did you come to make sure I didn't kill Itachi? There are no other sensory types besides me. <laughs> Plus, I'm certain that none of the others are cut out to be decoys. Decoys? Did you get that coat on too? Yeah. <sighs> he done dripped out, Ashley. Hey! You there. Hey. Would you like to join the way of Joshi? <laughs> way of Joshi? <laughs> yeah, that's right. The way of Joshi. It's an ideology where you can kill people and you won't be punished at all. In fact, it pleases Lord Joshi even more if you do just that. Oh. It's a wonderful teaching, isn't it? What do you say? Want to join up? So you clearly must be that homicidal maniac that we heard about. Look, I'm simply offering up prayers to Lord Joshi. And now it seems like I'm gonna have to offer you up as well. Your thoughts? He doesn't seem to be a reanimation. Fine. I'll test him to see how immortal he is. And why are you all dressed the same way? What are you, in a band? Let's see. The gloomy one over there plays bass guitar. The hmm. girl does vocals and keyboards. No, no wait. No. The emo guy's gotta <laughs> handle the vocals. Oh, oh my god. Like that. <laughs> I still think Lord Joshin would like you guys as an offering. You're not getting away! <laughs> what? Done so soon? Ouch. Seriously? That really hurts! Oh. I'll punish you in the name of Joshin! The ritual. All the preparations. 
missions have been completed. Kakuzu's blood, and mentioned a ritual, probably a jutsu. Any damage he sustains affects those whose blood he licked. Can you separate them? Weren't you going to eliminate him? Well... What's the big idea, Tachi? It seems that we're recruiting him. Okay, Are you kidding team. me? No way! Whatever this Akatsuki is, I already have a mission! To spread the way of Jashi! Then you'd be wise to join the Akatsuki, for the sake of your mission. Assassination, and war, you name it. The Akatsuki are killers for hire. Hmm. I still plan to continue spreading the word about the way of Jashi, you know. <laughs> As you please. <laughs> I'm soldier holes in disguise. I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. Begin your missions. Our two man teams are in place. I didn't think I'd be partnered with you. You took the words right out of my mouth. Don't irritate me, or I'll kill you. Like I said, just try it. Mm. I don't want your heart, you know. Art is. Okay. It's an explosion! What the? <laughs> yep, that's art. I still don't get what your art is about. In time, you'll come to understand the aesthetics of something fleeting. Hmm. It's our leader. Hmm? A shinobi village by the name of the Hidden Sound was recently founded. It's possible that Orochimaru is involved with it. What? That guy again? <laughs> you two covertly checked them out. Oh, don't you worry, I'll <laughs> find him. He'll go boom! You don't know what covertly means, do you? Dude. It's no problem. <laughs> There's been an incident in the Hidden Leaf Village. Orochimaru's behind it. Oh. Orochimaru used Shinobi from the Hidden Sound and Hidden Sand to wage war against the Leaf. Oh. But he failed to destroy it. <laughs> Wasn't the third Hokage died? Right. The third Hokage died, and the village was damaged. Orochimaru escaped, but no one knows where. I'll send someone to investigate, but I'll handle it. Oh. Then I'll leave this to you, as well as the status of the Leaf's Jinchuriki. Seems they averted total destruction but still sustained massive damage. The village was at the height of prosperity. Tragic. That's not like you. So even you have feelings for your birthplace, is that it? No. Not at all. Sasuke. I hope that you're safe. Kakashi? You're not usually here first. Well, it happens once in a while. So what's going on? Why did you summon us here? Damn. Sasuke. You've grown up. Hmm. It's been a long time, Sasuke. Itachi Uchiha. I hope you're ready... ...to die. Well, the Sharingan. And he looks an awful lot like you. Itachi, who is this kid? He's my younger brother. So, you've awakened your Sharingan. It's just as you said, brother. I've fostered my hatred all this time. I've lived my life all in pursuit of one single purpose. How strong have you become? To kill you! Get in here! Damn. Chidori. <laughs> It 
was Kakashi, huh? Oh. <laughs> Master Jiraiya. I know he's the one you're really after. You're right. Naruto is the prize that the Akatsuki are after. And we will have him. No way you're getting Naruto. We'll see about that. Actually, this is all very convenient. I can eliminate you both at the same time. Stay out of this. The only one who's going to eliminate him is me. You don't interest me at the moment. Not yet, Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke, no! No, not at all! Don't play it! Mind your own business! Just back off! This fight is mine! That's right. And now, finally! Watch it before you do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Forgive me, Sasuke. Damn. Forgive me. You'll show him no mercy. Oh. Damn, bro. Hate me more. You're weak, Sasuke. And for the next 24 hours, relive that day. No using the super yogi on your younger brother. Damn, bro. That's it! I'm through standing around! You're still too weak. You just don't have enough hate. Kisame. Come. Damn. Stop! <laughs> Why did we have to retreat? You could have won that fight. Sasuke, even though Lord Third is dead, you still have people who will protect you. I'll be waiting. Sasuke. Why are you so obsessed with my brother? <laughs> He's just a rogue ninja. It's true that we may not be blood. But he's more of a brother to me than you ever were to him! I know that you've been trying to take Sasuke back to the Hidden Leaf Village. However, what if it doesn't go the way you want it to? I'll do anything to make it happen! What if Sasuke were to attack the Hidden Leaf Village? What would you do then? Why would... No, there's just no way that Sasuke would ever do something like that! Sasuke is still a blank canvas. He can easily be dyed into any color. If he resists, will you be able to stop him? Or even kill him if need be? Could you weigh Sasuke against the Hidden Leaf on a set of scales? I would defend the village! Then I'd find a way to stop Sasuke without killing him! You're such a child. All your tales are nothing but mere fantasies. Shinobi must be capable of making very harsh decisions. But for me, there is no choice. Give my word and I'll never back down. That will always be my ninja way. I see. He's here. How much can you see with those shouting gun of yours? What I'm seeing right now, Itachi, is you dead at my feet. Well then. Go on, make it happen.
Hey y'all, we're back for Acting Arc Shiv in episodes 455 through 458. We just finished taking a look, a deep dive into the history and lore of Itachi Uchiha. So guys, I guess my first question is, you know, what, just before we get into the nitty gritty, what was your, just your thoughts of going into this, getting to know more about Itachi and just, you know, you, what's some things you want to talk about from Itachi, some things you've gotten appreciated from this arc so far? Who wants to go first? Yeah, so it was, it was cool to see more in depth, uh, like more context for some of the stuff that Itachi did when he was growing up and why he did some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. and we, because most of the time when we hear about Tashi, it's through other people mm -hmm. and explained through other people's perspectives. But now we finally get to see what happened through him and his life story. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see that. For sure. Jason, what about you, bro? Um, yeah, I mean, I can kind of agree with what Alan was saying. It was kind of like seeing a first person. Is that the right way? Yeah. First, yeah, first person of preview of like Itachi and his life mm -hmm. from the beginning. Like not just from like when he killed, because I think when we really heard about Itachi was when he killed his whole clan yeah. but this is we get to see like a just overall from what we watched it's like we get to see from the beginning before mm -hmm. all that and kind of see how he got to that level of you know wanting to kill his whole clan and all that stuff yeah so. I mean guys that's like a great point you bring up because when you first introduced the series you just get him as Itachi Sasuke like I just want to kill somebody right this special someone right and then you get to meet Itachi who just comes up and kicks everyone's ass he starts out this character everyone fears and then as you get through the series you finally learn the heartbreaking truth and then towards the end of the series you kind of just get the unraveling of mm. sort of itachi why he did what he did for the reasons that he did right mm. as we kind of get into the you know this ep this week's episode right we kind of start off where we ended with itachi joining the ambu and as you see even from the get-go they already have him slaughtering killing people from the get-go now what's really heartbreaking is that you see that his dad fugaku has a lot of hopes and rides a lot of a lot of hope and faith in Itachi for him to lead the clan but then you see Itachi having to since early on from the flashbacks already dealing with it just you know that you know, what is the village what is the clan what is everything then he gets thrust into this mission of having to spy on his own people mm. and I think that's kind of where I get started with the discussion guys I mean honestly guys what what was your thoughts sort of Itachi getting the ultimate burn of having to be like a snitch a double agent <laughs> having to having to spy on his own people even though despite his feelings on whatever situation he has you know not really love towards either side but doing what he thinks is best what was your thoughts on getting to see that mission unfold of him being an actual double agent who wants to go first um honestly i think it was just it was kind of interesting to see it from itachi's point of view because mm -hmm. he was kind of, like you said he was a double agent but honestly tor towards the end like he he didn't want to do it, it yeah. uh, you could tell that he didn't want to do it yeah. but you know he did it he did it still um and i think if anything, all we, what we learned is that Itachi really didn't. I and mean, even at the end, he said like, "I don't know if I did the right thing," or he said yeah. something like, "When he was standing." Um, I don't know whose agent I was. Who's yeah, the agent that's I was. what I. Yeah. yeah, he said that. So I mean, he probably has. A, he probably had a lot of regret after doing it, especially like at the end when he was do killing his parents like that. Mm -hmm. Like we actually, I don't even think we got to see that part of like that perspective of him crying. Like yeah. we didn't see that. So just to see like that point of view and also. Also, I didn't know that uh, Toby or or yeah, it's yeah actually, like, technically Obi Toby Obi Toby in disguise yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So didn't know he was a part of that. That was that was kind of crazy to see. But overall, it was he went through a lot to have to decide and to I guess become that rogue ninja and do what he did. Yeah. So, I mean, let's kind of talk about some of those crazy specifics, right? We know that from the series that Sasuke deduced when they fought against Itachi, right? Mm. He said that, like, I know you couldn't have taken the police force on your own, right? Who'd you get help? That's when we find that Itachi's mentor was Madara mm. slash Obito. And we got to see this episode, like, we saw before that, you know, Itachi reaches out for him to help. But to see exactly what kind of help... Oh boy, guys! What was it, you know? I think it was like kind of sad to think that it was Shizui that helped him, and then like Itachi like killed him or something. Oh. I think at the time when it was like when we first watched it, like I think it was like kind of hinting towards that. Yeah, and I mean it's like because you see that okay, Shizui, where'd he go? Like oh, he kills him. It's because we see from the clan's perspective, like oh, we can't really believe this. Shizui, mm. one of our guys, killed himself like that. We think Itachi you suspected it, right? And so that's interesting you brought because it's like oh. She's Obito's already not even introduced yet, technically, right? Madara still calling someone mentioned, then like, oh, she's sweet. That's a good point you bring up. That's like, oh, you but, but now I know it's like a different time, a little time difference. But right. at the time, it's 
it, it was. It well, you don't like, actually see She Sweet killing himself, and that's yeah, when yeah, you're but like, they, oh. but they talk about it. Yeah. So that's when it was like, oh, oh, who could it be, yeah, right? Yeah. Imagine if it's She Sweet the whole time, <laughs> this whole time, right? That would, that would have been crazy. Although a lot of fan theories are saying that, like, oh, we never found She Sweet's body. You didn't find She Sweet's body, so he could be out there, just daredevil She Sweet, right? Just blind, just out there. But hey, you never know. We shall see. But I honestly, that's a cool bit of lore that you know the thing that someone a blind Uchiha is just out there right, <laughs> waiting but that'd be I mean it, but it sucks you know she sweet you literally is like when he kills himself right it's like okay I, it's because Donzo takes one mm. eye he doesn't trust him to help with the clan and then because of that inadvertently she sweet's death uh, you know uh, increases the frustration of the Uchiha which then eases right. the breaking point right I thought it was interesting though that during this point right we get to see from Fugaku Itachi's dad's perspective right we get to see that like he is also fearful of where this is going, but realizes in his mind that this is where the clan's pushing me. It's too late. So, guys, let me ask you then, bro. One, what was your thoughts on learning that Fugaku also had the Mangeku showering on? Give me your thoughts on that. Who wants to go first? Yeah, it was pretty cool seeing his Mangeku in it. And it also makes sense for someone who's so, like, uh, higher up in the uh, Uchiha world. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. it kind of makes sense him having those eyes yeah so for sure and it's, it's tragic that he, he unlocked them the same way the rest of them did but yeah jason uh yeah no i mean he i mean it was a shock to see it but after i saw it i was like he better have it because he is the leader of the like he's basically like the leader so like if he had to defend like he didn't have anything like that that would suck so it was cool to see that and then just the moment of how they showed it too was really cool just like oh yeah only uh, the people with the what was it manga you can read the you know the tablet tablet and, yeah. and then he's like do you want me to read it like his uh what was it uh, itachi was like, you want me to read it i'm like no i can read it i got that <laughs> like, that was he's like no i'm good nah <laughs> he shows up his pattern yeah that was sick nah. that was really cool now you kind of see why we probably should, fugaku was the leader of the clan the police force yeah. and i mean he was already saying that he fought during the war and stuff so i mean it, it shows that like fugaku, that he was even uh considered to be hokage too he was literally like runner up yeah for real and thinking about it like Oh, okay, I want to ask a couple more questions leading up to that. But yeah, it's crazy, right? I mean, you saw he had the potential to do that. He was referenced when the fourth Okage was mm. chosen, too. And actually, guys, I don't know if you know, his nickname uh, or his moniker, like his title was, you know how, like, you know, Itachi the Sharingan, you know, mm. Kakashi the Sharingan. They called him Wicked Eye Fugaku. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I mean, now you know, if he shows that Mangekyo, actually, that's a real wicked shit right there, right? So I, I mean, would call him Trapezoid Mouth. That's what trapezoid. I I noticed that. I, I remember when he kept talking. Oh, it's his, his mouth. No, no, no. Not, I mean, that's one thing, but yeah. it's also, there was a part when he's speaking, it was literally just a trapezoid. trapezoid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Why do you call him the trapper? His mouth. The trapezoid face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Uh, it's, it, <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, no, it, it's cool that we got to see more of, like, Fugaku, but it's pain. It sucks because, like, he tried to get Itachi, like, look, the clan's, you know, if we, if you join us, Itachi, we can make this a bloodless revolution. And I thought it was crazy because he wasn't like Itachi was like, he, he had both options in front of him, but he chose the greater good of the village. Mm. Because my question is, guys, you know, if Itachi had joined Fugaku, do you think that the, the, the Uchiha would have been able to take over the village? Basically, yeah. would the Uchiha have been able to defeat the Leaf Village had the coup d'etat come to it? I think so. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. yeah. The visual prowess, bro. All and right. I think I would. I mean, you could at that point you can just literally control, in a way, control everybody. And you know, I mean, they literally showed like a thing of, of the nine tails of you know taking the nine tails out of the Jinchuriki and then yeah. you know so yeah. that at the easily time could happen. Sorry, that's oh. it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. At the time, there's a big power vacuum, right? Yeah. Dry wasn't even there. So yeah. it wasn't even there. Um, Orochimaru was not there. there. Orochimaru's not there. Naruto and Sasuke, not even kids yeah they're, they're just kids yeah so it's like you have been easy pickings i mean let's think about it right you've got the kokage donzo donzo has shisui's eye at that point let's not forget that's basically so he could he could do some messed up shit with there here isn't still alive albeit not like you know what third grade you know the by the time the trinity exams come he's still a little bit you know fighting age 10 i guess he's still you still still mess with him right mm. you still got the rest of the clans right the aburama clan with the bugs You've got Ino, Shika Cho still in play. The Akumaru, uh, 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 the dog clan with the dogs. Akumaru, Aburama, I don't know. But whoever he was clans, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you still have that. Remember, because Lord Hero is in wanting to assemble different clans with different abilities. So let's lay that out, right? We got, you got the all a bunch of shot and sure, the police force, I'm assuming they all got charring guns, right? Yeah. Let's assume that. Some of the specialized leaflets. You still have the foundation, the Ambu, as well. 
So, uh, when I present that option, do you still think that's going to be as clear cut? I mean, not, I'm not going to no. say the Uchiha are still like, yeah. you know, are fodder at that point. But right. concerning the what's at stake, I feel like, you know, the Bloodless Revolution thing, I feel like the Fogaku is really hopeful for that mm. when he said that. But I don't know, man. I would say, I mean, we know more names on the other side. Yeah. So, in that scenario, I mean, or in that, if you were to argue like that, then I guess, like you said, you can't really... It's Kikashi, hard to, yeah. Kakashi's on their side. Yeah, Kakashi. Like you have so many names. Yeah. We're on the on the. Over oh, Yamato comes out. Yeah, like yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, but like on the uh, other side, you know, oh, what's the, oh my god, the clan name again? The Uchiha. Yeah. The, sorry, I don't know why I blanked up. <laughs> the Uchiha, like they, like you said, we only know like Itachi, Itachi's dad, and then like who else is there? That it's we, really the police force and whoever right. Obito decides to side with at that point right right whoever reaches out to Obito like hey pick a side right. if he wants to get involved I don't think Yo, Obito would be involved right. unless it's against the Uchiha but I mean like you want to have Donzo reach out to you <laughs> he probably killed Donzo if he tries to like reach out to right, him at that right. point right the Hathor Okage wouldn't even know, be aware of his existence right only That's very true. few people would be aware if anything Itachi would have to come like hey wanna side with the clan to take over the village <laughs> Uh, if Obito's on your side, though, yeah, yeah. that kind of actually... Ugh, that's crazy, because, yeah. you know, here's the thing, Itachi doesn't even know his Mangekyo ability, so for all he knows, he could just set everyone on fire on accident. Right, but on the right. other hand, right, you know, you got Lord Third coming out. If he knows Reaper Dead Seal, he'll probably try to take a couple people with him before he goes to, right? And if Donzo's there, he's going to try to kill the Uchiha before, regardless. He was probably already trying to kill them. Like, oh, we got to fight them? I was already killing him. Okay, shit, never mind, then. We go unite. What do you think? I think, I was going to say, if anything, if they showed, like, a scene of them getting, uh, capturing the Ninetales or, like, putting a Genjutsu on him. Yeah. If that scenario would have happened, they would they could do a lot of damage. If like they had they, the Ninetales? Like, if they were able to control the Ninetales, like, yeah. how they showed. Yeah. And just destroy, well, I mean, I not mean, they, that they, they, would... they technically have, two of them can technically control them if Itachi and Fugaku have Mangekyo, so technically, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that in itself would probably do so much damage, and... I think that's a force to reckon with at that point. If if that if it was that scenario, Alan. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, at boy, the time, your boy Kakashi. I don't know, man. At the time, I mean, he's also young. Kakashi's yeah, everyone's not, like everyone's really young. Yeah. And, I mean, like, you got a experience. I mean, Ambu Kakashi, sure. Yeah, needs. two people aren't gonna do much, but if Itachi had more experience, then yeah, he could do more damage. But he just unlocked his Mangeka, so I think the village would have a better shot. That's what I think. They have yeah. way more numbers. They have way more different skill sets. So the I think then I guess Jason's point that whoever can keep the Jinchuri keys, you know, is yeah, yeah, essential. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, I, agree. I guess the question is, guys. I mean, this if you could send Sasuke, hey Sasuke, tell tell Naruto you want to go to the swing, have, <laughs> get some ramen, grab his ass really quick, and just be like. I, honestly, I think it would have been really easy to capture him at that time. I mean, you know, Lord knew. Third ain't as you know, Lord Third ain't protecting him. As yeah, well. exactly. That's what I'm saying. He's young. He doesn't have any. Any sort of, he's he could have gotten kidnapped so many times. Oh, so before. easily. He's living, I don't know why he's they living waited. by himself. I don't know why they waited until he was like, like twelve or something. Like when he's something. older and yeah, he kind like, of knows a little bit. Like, hey, things could have went a lot different, man. No, I'm honestly, we taught you I didn't come in and murk the clan like that. I feel like the Uchiha would be. Oh, shit, yeah, imagine man. if it was the other way around, bro. Ooh, Get yeah. the Jinchuriki, kill the, kill the village in the night or most of them in the night, and then. Get the Jinchuriki, turn it over, like bro. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Kavaku said like, look, if you had him, we if you know, if you talked to you with us, we could do them all by surprise. You yeah. know, I don't feel like you could surprise someone like Donzo, but maybe the definitely the third Hokage you pull the jump over. Right. I just like, how do you deal with the foundation and the Ambu? Is the question. Mm. You have Itachi there, so it's interesting, guys. Potential Jinchuriki. There you honestly, the yeah, and then and one, once the Nine Tails is freed, like they won't need Naruto. Can you imagine if you give oh my god if you give him like sasuke someone like the nine tails because at that point or some well someone with the mangekyo right yeah could you imagine itachi get the nine tails because like oh you're the next next title for the clan we're gonna give you the you know you're probably gonna be hokage at that point right give you the nine tails bro Ooh. bro if itachi had the mangekyo plus the nine tails well i think like itachi wouldn't be dead by disease at that point right he the nine tails would be like i got you buddy let me take that bird off you since, <laughs> since you control me at this point Wow, a lot, a lot of what what if we got from this set of episodes, guys? It's yes. crazy. Yes. But yeah, even though we kind of got to dive into you know some of what if for Naruto, you know, uh, sort of what, <laughs> what would have happened if this or this happened. As we go through the story, guys, Itachi's in the uh, you know in the Akatsuki. Let me get your thoughts on some of you know what was your thoughts to see him in his um in his Akatsuki days, you know, in the background, not seeing some of the stuff we saw in the show. Yeah, I like seeing more of the Akatsuki how they function. Um, 
Personally, I think they're a very bad team because they all <laughs> don't like each other. <laughs> yeah, um, bro. I feel bad I know who's a Hakakazu's team because he's probably going to kill you just because, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, everyone really just hates each other. But it was cool to see, like, how things originated and how other uh, members came into position and how other members left, too, so. Yeah. Jason? It was kind of, yeah, it was kind of interesting to see, like, all of them it kind of seemed like they were all just independent contractors forced to work with each forced to work with the, each other um like there was no game plan it was just like yeah i'll, I'll attack first and you attack behind me mm -hmm. like the whole itachi and the and his, yeah like the, their whole game plan was like yeah now nah, i'll go first and then you can come second or you can go first with your you know visual prowess and then i'll just come behind and attack yeah. like, that's not really i mean i guess that's strategy but like they didn't care they were just like we're just we're here to get paid and fight and kill people like <laughs> talking about phone again guys <laughs> yeah literally it, it was just like just a bunch of independent contractors just like oh let's just get the shit done yeah all day. <laughs> fair fair and i mean they all kind of behave like that as yeah. well i mean like even when they try to work as a team, like Itachi was really trying. Yeah. Uh, Sasori really was like, yo, please, someone work. Well, I have I'm no team. I want a teammate. <laughs> please, I need someone that can function. Orochimaru just sucks, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but, and, you know, it's funny because, you know, as we, as we go through it, right, the only really good teammate anyone on the Costco is Juzo. And homie mm. died so early. It's funny because, guys, we actually heard Juzo's name before when we did our Akatsuki rankings list. Mm. It's like, a, who the fuck is Juzo, right? Right, right. And now you kind of met him, bro. So, yeah, Juzo's out there. The first One of the first people to see the Executioner sword that goes to Zabuza later. The reason why I say he's the best, because he's the only one that was able to try to work with Itachi. Took it and took the took the tail beast ball for him, so that sucked. What was your thoughts on saying Juzo taking out like that, bro? You got fucking you got go up against the Kaza, no, the Mizukage get folded by literally a beast tier too, right? exactly. I mean, yeah, you try to play baseball with us, so like, I mean, I got you, Tachi, batter, hey, batter, batter, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jason, yeah, no, it was, <laughs> it was, uh, I guess finally, it was cool to finally meet him, I yeah. guess, or see what his what he could do and yeah. what he was about. Um, and it was cool to also see him save Itachi in a way because he, Itachi probably would have died if he didn't do that. So yeah. respects for him for that. That was probably the first time the Katsuki really showed some sort of teamwork or mm -hmm. I guess uh, taking a bullet for your brother kind of scenario. So right. that was cool to see. And it's kind of a good thing that he got to die where he, mm. or the, the place where he betrayed, I guess. Yeah. Um, and he died by their, I guess their Jinchuriki there. So yeah. What, what what should which one is it the third the, the three tails yeah oh, three tails. remember the turtle looking creature oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. the three tails um, and the next time you see it actually Hisame tries to leave the village mm. Madara then comes in to take it, it actually manipulates uh, the three tails to Cherokee mm. and then the blood mist which becomes even more deadly at that point too okay. yeah because then under that subjection of the of Obito slash Madara he just be, the village becomes even worse and mm. worse and that's mm. when like May and them have to come in and try to usurp them and everything by then it's already too late that they already get the Jin Cherokee and everything like that the Mizukage is dead so like yeah, it's crazy to see some of the beginnings of the downfall of some of these villages, too. Yeah. But yeah, we also got to see, as well, uh, Sasori fight against Orochimaru and them having to use the puppet versus the mm. homie version of it. Mm. That was crazy, as well. And then we also, what was this, Datara getting introduced again, as well. But what was your thoughts on seeing some of the background, as well, of some of these other Akatsuki characters? So we got, as soon as they get introduced, they pretty much have their arc and they die. So seeing some of their lore is something I thought was interesting. What about you guys? Yeah, I, I like seeing it too. Um, seeing um, how uh, um, Adidra and Hedon came into play. Yeah. How they recruited them. Because yeah, how do you recruit an immortal out of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, they, what they did is they just used things that they were motivated by to get them yeah. into the group. For sure, for sure. Jason? Yeah, no, I mean, it was. Tort we got to see, I guess, just a lot of the. Uh, the onboarding of a lot of these new Akatsuki <laughs> members like oh here, like I guess how they got onto the Akatsuki it doesn't really seem like it was it was more like hey do you want to become a, a kill for hire and we, we pay really well yeah. come join us it wasn't like forced I, some of them were there's Dana a few yeah yeah, like, yeah. You got bamboozled yeah, yeah 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 he him yeah but like the guy that uh what's the guy freaking the blood dude the, he uh, don't. He don't. He don't, right he don't like he's just if, if I'm being honest, I would have kind of liked to see them battle it out more. <laughs> and then, like, maybe he surrendered to join the team. But it was still cool to see. 
Hey man, you know the you know the Ninja Jehovah Witness. <laughs> now, so you know he was, he was real consistent with it. He was. Yeah. He was. One of my favorite moments though from this episode was seeing how Orochimaru de uh, defected from the Akatsuki. Mm. This man's always defecting. This man can't stay in a place be loyal to anyone apparently. Nope. And he tries to get the one up on Itachi. I thought it was crazy because you know. Orochimaru was like, I'm, I'm the elder, you know, Leaf Village guy, I have the more experience, let me try to jump on this newbie, boom, gets fucking reversed on so quick. What was your thoughts on seeing Orochimaru? Not, well, actually, the reason why I bring this up is because when you see Orochimaru actually try to go after Sasuke, um, in, uh, during the, what was it, the Konoha, when they try to go and get it, uh, Sasuke back, the, what was it, Sasuke Retrieval arc, when they meet the Sound Ninja 4 and everyone like that, Orochimaru is literally talking about like oh uh, like the Akatsuki and stuff like that. He's actually losing his body. He switches to a new body. He's deteriorating. He's having a conversation with Kabuto about uh, the Akatsuki and stuff as well mm. as Sasuke. And you see a pan of him actually Orochimaru's hand that gets cut off by Itachi on this episode. Oh. You see that hand with the Akatsuki ring still there mm. in a jar somewhere in oh. that compound. It pans to it, but you don't know what it's for. Now you know that it was because you know Orochimaru is remembering. Oh yeah, I got fucking my hand tossed up by Itachi. So he has memento from that day where like I tried to get a jump on Itachi. I fucking lost and I lost a hand too. I thought that was crazy to see that moment happen as well. Kind of get full circle moments from those tidbits because because mm. you see like why is there showing a hand in the middle? You know, with a ring in the middle of the Orochimaru's right. layout hideout. Him talking about it. <laughs> now you know. So what was your thoughts of seeing you know Orochimaru? You know, once again, you know, in the Akatsuki as well because again, seeing all these characters, you saw Orochimaru get referenced, but seeing him in the Akatsuki and still being a piece of shit. What was that like, guys? <laughs> It was, yeah, we, oh sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Um, yeah, we just see it over and over again, like how he's very <laughs> defective and he can't really stay in one spot and he's only there to serve himself. Yeah, yeah, and you see that he uses it to build the foundation for a sound village for the Konoha Crush later, so. Yeah, Jason? Um, I was gonna ask, have we seen that scene before of him trying to take Itachi's body I feel like we've seen you've seen that but you didn't see the part where the he cuts end part, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but so we've we seen saw, the like the initial because yeah, Orochimaru tries to he references like oh, I want these eyes and then you see that scene exactly how later it early out. yeah because yeah. I was like I felt like I've seen it seen this before but we didn't mm -hmm. get to see the end part but yeah. yeah no it was cool to see I guess like you said Itachi just kind of not show that he doesn't belong anywhere like he just wants to be a part of something and then dip after some time and just do his own thing yeah and that was kind of the story again like he left the uh the Kotsky after trying to steal <laughs> itachi's eyes and try to steal his body and and imagine then, after zooming someone tries to jump you that's yeah it's just like hey happened. i'm coming after you like <laughs> you didn't turn that deadline and i want your body <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was cool though it was cool to just see his his like what he it, I mean, after knowing how, where he ends up, like it was just cool to see just where he was and what he did yeah. to get there. So. Yeah, I mean, guys, as you go through the episodes as well, we see Tachi go back to the Leaf, kind of get full circle moment for everything that he's went through. And I guess I kind of want to end this episode by asking you guys, you know, was he, you know, Itachi's journey worth it? Did you? What was your thoughts on Itachi's story overall and just, you know, his his, his crucible of a hero's journey? Who wants to go first? Um. I think I think it was a great story. I mean, I, I enjoyed his story a lot. Um, I've liked Sasuke. That's like my favorite character. So like his mm -hmm. brother, I think I like him just as equally, mm -hmm. just because of just his story and how much he's been through to get to the levels of where he was at the end. Mm -hmm. And even after he got uh, resurrected and all that, like everything was great to see. But just specifically this part, um, it was cool to see his upbringing and what he went through just having to be a ninja and not ninja but like just be in training at such a young age mm -hmm. and go through that whole thing i mean he was a ninja he was already having bodies yeah, at four true. years old that is so true sure. yeah, yeah i guess yeah i mean yeah at that young age to be able to have so much uh i guess learn so much yeah. and just be so op at young at a young age and then you know we get to see the whole thing and it was cool to see yeah how about you bro yeah, I really liked watching his story um, really unfold, and it was a lot of different layers, and we only see tidbits of everything. 
throughout the entire show. Mm. You know, what some this happened, that happened, but now we finally see it all fully fleshed together. And I think it was a great story. Show that he made an ultimate decision, the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. Um, you know, he's not really. He was portrayed as as him being a villain, but realistically, he just had to do a difficult, make a difficult decision. Yeah. He was the hero that the knee fleeted, mm. but not okay, the one who deserved. Okay. <laughs> 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 he was the least Batman, and then Sasuke. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, guys, I I wanted to really dive into this set of episodes because they, the author really expanded upon their story a lot especially some of the stuff like itachi had someone that he cared about like he had a little crush and everything he had a life in the village he did have some of a normal child but it was shrouded in so much darkness him having so much responsibility mm. early on and i think it's such a great moment to see that like because we see that full circle moment towards the end of naruto when sasuke talks to the first okage is like you know i mean in the first okage acknowledges like itachi was someone that was even greater than him because of what Itachi had to go through mm. and it's great he's like seeing Itachi his journey and I mean, it's it sucks but like he's a character we can look to where it's like some characters have to do some things that are so horrible that you there comes a point in life where everyone has to do things they don't want to do but it's necessary mm. and you can look at someone who taught you that like hey just because it's necessary doesn't mean you have to like you have to love you have to you know respect you know sometimes it's necessary right and itachi did the ultimate sacrifice and the idea of sacrifice is prevalent throughout naruto and i love it because itachi despite someone had to do some horrible thing is a source of inspiration for a lot of characters even naruto takes inspiration from him too seeing that like oh itachi did the hard thing to walk you know walk a path of darkness mm. and it's you know it's something that we all have to go through at some point in our life and i think itachi is a great moniker for that one of the moments though before I ended off, I, mean, I thought it was I forgot to mention that was one of my favorite moments is when we got to see Itachi get introduced in the Ambu for Donzo. Mm -hmm. And Donzo gives him two homies that are his subordinates, right? Mm -hmm. And you thought they were gonna be there at the end for him, but then when they had when they had to be like, hey, we have to pretend we had to put up a fight, they tried to kill his ass. They were like, yo, actually we're gonna have to jump you. We can be on to beat your visual prowess. Only for Itachi to, you know, realize that even from the beginning, like I didn't I didn't trust you from the beginning. Mm -hmm. More real quick, what was your thoughts on seeing him pull that smart move at the end of the day? Guys, come on guys. He, he even knew like I don't trust any of you guys from the beginning. And I thought that was that was crazy. Um yeah, and then for me, like for someone that Itachi did have still so much with love for the village, but even so knew he still had to distrust them still. I, it's so heartbreaking, but hey man, that's that's a thankless job. And Itachi never got thanked until the very until the very end and got mm. his recognition. So yeah, do you have any more thoughts on this week's episode? No, no man. Well guys, thank you guys for watching another episode of Airborne Archer Shipping in. Guys, we took a deep dive in the past in the last set of episodes. But finally, guys, next week we're gonna go dive into the future. We got some exciting stuff coming. We're gonna be finally tackling tackling this stuff after the fourth great ninja war, guys. That's right. We're gonna jump right back into where we ended off during the last bits of Naruto versus Sasuke. Right where Sasuke leaves the village. Naruto's a war hero. We're gonna jump right back into next week's on next week's episode. So guys, stay tuned. We'll drive back into the current and the present and the future of Naruto Shippuden. So get ready. Guys, thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Airborne Naruto Shippuden. A lot of history, a lot of lore, a lot of truth to unveil. But I hope you guys loved and enjoyed it. I'm your host, my co-host here. Alan, Jason. Y'all have a good one. Peace.